Nightmares explained. Why your brain scares you while you sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night, heart pounding, drenched in sweat. You were being chased, feeling trapped. But there's nothing there, just silence. Why does your brain do this to you? Today, we re-dive in into the dark world of nightmares and what your brain is really trying to tell you. One, what are nightmares? First, let's get the basics. Nightmares happen during a phase of sleep called REM or rapid eye movement. This is the stage when you're most likely to dream. And no, you don't only dream when you're falling asleep. During REM sleep, your brain is extremely active, almost as if you're awake, but your body is actually per That's why you can't move when you dream. Your limbic system, the emotional center of your brain, goes into overdrive. But the prefrontal cortex, the part that handles logic and self-control, is mostly turned off. That's why your dreams can feel real, but also chaotic, surreal, and terrifying. 2. Why do we have nightmares? Speaking of those scary dreams, Scientists think nightmares serve several biological and psychological purposes. The most common cause stress and anxiety. Your brain processes emotions while you sleep, especially intense or negative ones. So if you're anxious during the day, your brain might replay that tension as a nightmare at night. In people with PTSD, nightmares often repeat traumatic events in vivid detail, a result of the brain trying and failing to process the trauma. Some researchers even suggest nightmares have an evolutionary purpose. They prepare us for danger by simulating threats like being chased or attacked. Basically your brain is running a survival drill while you sleep. Other triggers include illness, medication, side effects, and even eating too late at night. So what exactly is a nightmare? In simple terms, it's a bad dream. But to medical professionals, it's more than that. It's a sleep disorder that happens during REM sleep. To be classified as a nightmare, the bad dream must cause significant distress and in some cases interfere with daily life. Nightmares are different from night terrors, which cause screaming, fear, and a racing heartbeat. But unlike nightmares, night terrors aren't remembered very well the next day. 3. What do nightmares mean? For decades, psychologists have debated the meaning of nightmares. Freud believed dreams were symbolic windows into hidden fears and desires. Carl Jung thought dreams were filled with archetypes, universal symbols buried in our subconscious. But today, most experts agree that nightmares are less about mystery and more about emotional regulation. Your brain uses dreams to replay emotional memories and try to resolve them. So even if your nightmare seems random, it's probably tied to something your mind is trying to work through. Also, recurring nightmares often reflect unresolved emotional tension or ongoing life stress. For, can you stop nightmares? The good news? You're not powerless against nightmares. Here's what science suggests. Sleep hygiene. Get a good night's rest. Sleep hygiene refers to good sleep habits. Go to bed and wake up consistently. Avoid screens and caffeine, especially before bed. These things can interfere with your sleep cycles and make nightmares worse. Relaxation, rituals. Take a few minutes before bed to calm down. Try meditation, journaling, or gentle stretching. These can help reduce stress and anxiety, which may trigger nightmares. Lucid dreaming. With practice, some people can learn to become aware of their dreaming and change the dream. Yep, it's possible. There are techniques and training programs that can help you develop this skill. CBT for nightmares. This type of therapy helps you rewrite the narrative of recurring dreams. By understanding the root of the nightmare, you can transform it into a more positive experience. So nightmares may be scary, but they're not your enemy. They're your brain's way of processing, coping, and sometimes even healing. If you're having frequent nightmares, don't suffer in silence. Seek professional help. A therapist can help you understand and manage your nightmares. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about nightmares, the better you can protect your sleep and your peace of mind. Sweet dreams. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. It helps spread mental health awareness. As always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.